y'all so in this video i'm gonna share with y'all my fasting journey so if you're curious about fasting or how fasting in, uh integrates with your anteology number then uh you'll want to stick around for this video so for everybody who's new here uh anteology is a system that combines the elements of the enneagram uh joyous numerology and astrology um and we find out your type based on your uh day of birth it's a system so my enneology type is the number nine so and that's all about compassion introspection personal growth so i decided to embark on the fasting journey because i wanted to deepen my connection uh with my inner self and enhance my spiritual awareness as well as just to start to gain mastery over uh my appetite so um fasting can align with your enneology number and it can be a powerful um thing to add to your repertoire of things that you do to um benefit your wellness so i chose to do a 24 hour fast once a week on tuesday and that aligns with my tuesday aligns with my ruling planet which is mars so during this fast i chose to really just cons uh consume plenty of water throughout the day um and in the beginning it was kind of tough like that especially like that first day because my body was just so used to eating at certain times of the day and when it wasn't getting that you know kind of threw me off i sometimes experienced like sl a little slight headaches um and just that anxiousness to you know want to eat and you know i just toughed it out um and you you feel really good well for me i felt really i feel really good when i when i do when i do things like that i like to have mastery over uh myself so um the only thing was i would i was drinking way too much coffee kind of like that first day and um i didn't break the fast like properly like um the the next day I was eating foods that wasn't necessarily beneficial for the fast. You know what I'm saying? So um the second day, which was the next week, um, I experienced a heightened sense of like clarity and focus. Like I was able to focus more, I guess, because like my body's that 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 um time and energy that I spent in digesting was now basically like giving back to me. So um my meditation um especially on that particular day was like more deeper um and i just felt more connected to my spiritual path to self mastery so and i felt like not only did it help me shed um like physical weight but also emotional and the mental clutter um was lessened as well so by the third day i was a little bit more used to it like my my mind was kind of like already prepared like okay we're not we're not eating tomorrow you know what I'm saying? So, and, um, um, and I, I, I broke, I broke my fast better. You know what I'm saying? Like I had prepared a meal ahead of time. So that way, when it was time to break it, you know, I had what I had. And then I wasn't drinking as much coffee, um, that day either. Um, I felt less tired. Um, and I just had a, a, a clear mind. And like I said, just once again, a better sense of discipline over myself, you know, just being in more control of my body. Um, on the fourth day, um, it was pretty much a continuation of, you know, the benefits that I experienced from the third, um, just a little bit less coffee on that day, you know, uh, the water intake, um, was pretty consistent. And then, um, I think I even got a workout. I got a workout that day. And I, I remember after working out, like I almost had to stop myself because my mind was like automatically like, all right, boom, it's time to eat. And I was just like, oh, I forgot we not eating today. You know what I mean? Like, not that I forget, but that the, the way my mind was when I worked out, like it was looking for food naturally, you know what I'm saying? Because it wants to replenish itself after that work, you know what I'm saying? Build muscle and all that. But because i wasn't i was just like all right cool you know the way i put it to my mind we'll, we'll eat later you know what i'm saying um so um but i i interesting thing was i still felt like really light i felt really light on my feet that day 
And that's the one of the things that I do like most about um, fasting. And I didn't really, I don't really experience many headaches as much anymore. So, um, yeah, if you're considering, you know, fasting is something that you want to add to your anthology journey or just your journey in general, I definitely highly recommend it. I will also suggest, you know, just listening to your body and remember that it's a personal journey and what worked for me might not work for you. You know, maybe your thing is more intermittent fasting. Maybe you want to fast for a few days at a time, you know, however you want to do that. I don't think there's any um, negative effects to a, a short fast. You know what I'm saying? 24 hour intermittent few hours. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you go longer than that, I would definitely listen to your body and maybe consult a health professional if you want to do like a really long fast. But I feel like these, this a 24 hour fast is harmless. You're not going to die. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, I'm not no medical professional or nothing. But for those um, with an allergy, uh number nine like me, um, I feel like fasting on, fasting on Tuesday can be particularly beneficial. One thing you'll experience is you'll be more disciplined and less distracted. You know, maybe I don't know because if I haven't been, if it's because I haven't been fasting on other days, would I experience the same? But for whatever reason, especially you, um, on the fifth day, I felt particularly disciplined. You know what I'm saying? Like the distractions were, were really low. So, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just use it as a time to reflect, recharge, and, uh, you know, realign with your spiritual goals. So, um, you know, thank you for everybody who's joined me on this journey. I hope uh, my experience can inspire you to explore your own ideology path and find practices that resonate with the unique energy that's particular to you. So, uh, as usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, share your own experiences down in the comments. And until next time, next time, just stay mindful, stay connected um, and stay true to yourself.